Here is an unboxing of the Canon Vixia HM or HF M50. Just got it today. It's packed pretty well by Amazon. So here we go. Canon Vixia HF M50. HD camcorder. Ordered it off Amazon. Got a great deal on it. $399. The P10, which is step up that has the same CMOS sensor built into it, is uh, well over $1,000. It's like $1,200, $1,300. Here we got the Pixela Corporation video browser, Canon booklets inside, and the register now camcorder with the registration card. Here we've got we've got a uh, power adapter here. I'm assuming this is for charging when you're not near a computer. We've got the this looks like the Canon battery here. It says Canon Intelligent Lithium Ion on it. So it's that's how you can tell it's a genuine Canon battery. And here we got the HDMI. Looks like the yeah, it's the HDMI cable. So that's for hooking up to those modern TVs, LED, LCD, plasma. And this looks like the power to USB camcorder to USB adapter for uh, camcorder. So now oh, one more thing. I'm not exactly sure what this is. I guess I'll find out when I read the manual. So, looks like we're diving into the camcorder itself now. And here it is, the Canon Fixia. Let's see if I can zoom in here. It's the Canon Fixia HF M50. It's got built in 8 gigabytes of memory. Now, it does come with memory card slot. I have many of these SanDisk Extreme Class 10 cards laying around, so I'm not too concerned about it only having built in 8 gigabytes, but the HF M52 has 32 gigabytes built in, but it's the price tag was nearly $200 more. I didn't think it was worth it just for an extra 24 gigabytes of memory. We have a built-in, there it is, Wi-Fi. And 1920 by 1080, this is 1080 recording here. And we've also got, here's the power button. It says uh, HD. CMOS Pro Optical Image Stabilizer 10X Optical. Here's this mini advanced shoe on top for many accessories. Use that. Here's the battery compartment. DC in. There it is. It covers up your DC. Here's your be record. Start and stop record button. And on the side here we have the memory card where you put your memory card now this is this is a bit a little bit bigger than my Samsung HMX 300 that I'm recording on right now it's about as heavy maybe slightly heavier it does look like it has an automatic uh, lens cover though whereas my Samsung you have to manually pull a lever on the side here but this one looks like it is a uh, automatic when you turn it on so it's very nice camcorder it's going to be a step up quite a big step up than my Samsung HMX 300 I'm not going to retire my Samsung HMX 300 completely I'm going to use it for mainly daytime videos for, for outside and whatnot but it is not a very good low light camcorder this on the other hand is extremely good in low light 
and that's one of the reasons why I got it. Even though I have a studio here, green screen studio that, that I use for my YouTube and presentations, it oftentimes I have to really edit and fine tune the software in Adobe to get the exact uh, image the green screen image to the way I want and get all the pixelation out and that pixelation is caused by the Samsung's lack of good um, low lighting recording capability so this is going to be excellent for that I shouldn't have to mess with software very much only for minor stuff and uh, we open this up, we got the LCD screen. And ABC HD, Adobe Digital Stereo Creator, and HDMI. There's the USB, HDMI, AV out, and the microphone. Oh, and here's the battery release. That's how you release the battery. So, there you have it. I'll have to do a proper review on this once I get everything, the battery installed, and um, make sure everything is working good. But yeah, that's pretty much what we have here. The Canon Vixia HF M50, made in Japan. If you're wondering where it's made, the Japanese know how to make good electronics. So, there you have it, Canon Vixia HF M50.